Have you ever wondered if your furnace is working properly? Well, maybe your furnace has some quirks and you're not quite sure what's normal and what isn't. Well, let me take you through standard operating procedure for most modern furnaces. Once your furnace has begun its heating sequence, you're going to notice a few things happen. The first thing is your inducer motor is going to turn on. Your inducer motor is located up here and it's the motor responsible for moving all the hot combustion gases up and out your home through the vent. After the inducer motor is turned on, we have to now create some sort of heat so we can ignite the gas. You're going to see a little glowing in your furnace uh, somewhere around the burner compartment and that's your hot surface igniter. On older furnaces, if your furnace is from the 80s and even the 90s, you're going to see oftentimes a spark ignition system and you'll hear a little ticking happening every few seconds until that, until that pilot comes on and lights. Once your hot surface igniter is glowing, your gas valve is going to click and it's going to release gas into the in-shot burners. Those in-shot burners will blow the gas into the burner compartment and that will run for about maybe 30 seconds to a minute before we need to turn on the indoor blower motor to move the air throughout your home. Once the blower motor comes on, you're now moving heat throughout the house. These other components will explain why you often hear noise before any heat comes out. By inspecting your furnace and knowing the sequence of operation, oftentimes you can figure out where the problem lies within the unit itself.